Hello again all you Dodger diehards and welcome to another exciting edition of Stratomatic Dodger Baseball. I am Jimmy the Greek welcoming you to Tuesday, May 8th, 1951 in our Stratomatic replay as the Dodgers are hosting a three game set with the Cubs. The Dodgers in our replay come into this afternoon's game with a record of 11 and 9. The Cubs at 8 and 9. If we take a look on the right hand side of the screen we see the box scores of the actual game that was played in Ebbets Field back in 1951. Uh, Hank Sauer hit a two-run home run in the first inning, and that was all the Cubs needed as Bob Schultz, the starter for the Cubs that day, um, scattered nine Dodger hits through nine innings and was able to cling to a one-run complete game victory. Uh, in 1951, Schultz did go the distance, and he improved to three and one on the season and on the other side of things Carl Erskine a rough start 1951 for the Dodgers dropped two one and three although he didn't have a bad outing um, seven innings pitched four hits just the two run homer in the first blanked him the rest of the way he had six strikeouts but it wasn't enough Ralph, Ralph Bronca came in uh, to throw, throw the last two innings um, shut the Cubs out but again couldn't muster up any offense. Cubs take it 2-1. to one. If we fast forward to our replay today, we see it's Bob Schultz and Carl Erskine. Schultz on the season so far is 1-2 and two with a 540 ERA. Erskine uh, doing his best to match his 1951 start as he is 0-2. A uh, little bit better ERA, though, as he is sporting a 386 ERA. As we take a look um, at some of the more uh, some of the other notes around the, the game today. Uh, Bumholtz, Frank Bumholtz for the Cubs and Wayne Tewilliger both coming in with hit streaks as Bumholtz is at six games, Tewilliger at five, and then you guys can see who's hot and who's not so far in our replay. But the Dodgers looking to battle their way towards first as they sit in second place right now. They're nine and six at home. The Cubs on the other side of things, three and seven on the road. We will get things rolling here from Ebbets Field. As Carl Erskine will take the bump, it's Wayne Tewilliger to start out. And if you've been following our replays, you've noticed, or you'll notice that uh, we're doing things just a little bit differently. Uh, instead of manually rolling the dice, um, we've changed it up. We're going to let the computer decide it, uh, largely because it was taking a lot of time. Um, you know, each game. Not that it's a lot of time, but you know, 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, a game, I can cut the cut the time down in half and get essentially the same result. Um, again, if you're just watching, uh, I'm doing my best, Chuck Dressen, to manage the Dodgers uh, in the 1951 replay. Uh, my goal, though, is to finish in first place. Unfortunately for the Dodgers and Dressen, they finished one game back in second place in 1951. As we see a leadoff single from Tewilliger, he immediately extends the hitting streak and now he stands on at first base a little bit of broadcasting a little bit of managing uh, he doesn't have a very good opportunity to get the jump he'll try it anyway and he doesn't and it'll be Randy Jackson we get a force play that's Billy Cox over at third base so one out just a simple fielders choice take a look at Jackson's ability to get a jump he is an asterisk seven not going to hold him. He's going to run, and we are going to have to eat that ball as he gets an easy jump. Jackson steals second base. Not going to hold him at second. He can't get the lead there. It's Bumholtz up, and Bumholtz grounds to second. Jackson moves up. Clutch situation now for Hank Sauer. As we had mentioned in the pregame notes, Sauer in this situation with a guy on in the top of the first inning of the actual game had a two-run homer, and that was the difference. Let's see if Erskine can, re can retire him here. And he <laughs> hits a home run just as he did in the top of the first inning off of Erskine in 1951 here in 2020. Sauer hits a two-run bomb, and the Cubs jump out to a 2-0 lead as Pafko digs in. And it's a comebacker right at Erskine. Can he make the play is the question. Looks like he's going to get to it. He's got a range of three. The air's though 15. Does he make the play is the question. 
He does not. He throws the baseball away. Hodges can't come up with it. Erskine commits the air. The inning's going to continue as DeFonte now steps into the box as Pafco stands on at first. Pitch to Fondi is a strikeout, but the damage done. Hank Sauer, a two-run blast in the top of the first, and the Dodgers will come to bat now as they have Cal Abrams coming to lead things off. And it's an opportunity for the next chance for the catcher. That's Walker. He's a 3-8. He's going to get there. Is it going to be a clean play? It is not. Walker makes a play or makes an error. So Abrams going to have new life as he drops the foul pop up, and Schultz will have to throw another one to a leadoff hitter. As Abrams digs in, he's hitting 269 in our replay, and he draws a walk. So after the error, he makes uh, Abram, uh, I'm sorry, Abrams makes the error heard as he draws a walk. And now Pee Wee Reese steps in. Reese, 80 at bats. He's still hitting over 400. Well, he's right at 400. And Reese, a clean single, moves Abrams over. And now the Dodgers are threatening. As Duke Snyder steps in. Reese stands on at first. Abrams at third. And a sack fly to left gets one run in. And we'll see what Robinson can do. And this is Cusick. With an opportunity to make a play. A 240. Now it's short. And if he can get to it, or if he can make a clean play, it'll be a double play. And he will. And they'll turn a double play. They'll get out of the inning. But the Dodgers are going to get one back, or they got one back. And after one, Chicago leads it 2-1. to one. As Erskine will step back out on the bump, it's Rube Walker. Walker made an error back in the first inning, and he grounds out to Hodges at first to start the second. And now it's Hodges' turn. Hodges' turn to make a play over at first base. He's a 113. Very reliable over there at first. So he gets to it. Will it be clean? It will not be as Hodges trying to toss the ball to Erskine covering. Miss calculates the toss and the ball gets away from Erskine and Cusick's on with one out. Cusick can't get the lead. It'll be Bob Schultz, the pitcher, looking to help his cause. And instead, Cusick's going to run. We're going to throw. And Cusick's going to steal second. So now it's Schultz. He strikes out. They turn the lineup over. It's Wayne Tewilliger. And he has already extended that hitting streak. And he grounds to Pee Wee Reese at short, inning over. Damage avoided. And the Dodgers will look to tie this one up as Hodges leads things off. Hodges lead off single. And that'll bring up Carl Farillo, 240 hitter. And Farillo, shortstop, Cusick to Williger, Fondi, double play, two outs. Bruce Edwards, line out to second. And again, if you're just joining us uh, on our replay path as we see Jackson pop out, uh, we're playing the as-played lineups. And then we'll make substitutions as we see fit. Uh, same with the computer um, with uh, the Dodger opponents. As Bamholtz pops out to second, two quick outs. And it's Sauer. He lines out to second. So Robinson ties the record, so to speak, as he gets all three putouts in the inning. And we are quickly into the third as Billy Cox will lead things off. And this is Cusick again. It's short. Pretty good range. He does get to the baseball. Now, is it going to be a clean play? We've already seen three errors through two and a half innings. As Cusick looks like he will get to this one. Clean play to first. Fondy there in time. One away. As Erskine digs in. Flies out to right. That's Bamholtz. And the Dodgers turn the lineup over for Abrams. 
And this is Sauer now. Hank Sauer out and left. He's a 5-7. Lots of hit opportunities on this one. Sauer motoring around. Can he get to it? He does not. It's going to drop in at least two bases. Does he play it clean is the question as it hits the ground. He does. So a stand-up double for Abrams with two outs. So Abrams reached back in the first after an error. He drew a walk and scored, and now he has a lead or a two-out double. And it will be up to Reese to potentially tie the game for the Dodgers. Pitch to Reese. It's a base hit. And we're going to try to score him. Absolutely. We're going to wave Abrams around. Throw is coming in. They're going to allow the run to score. They cut it off. They hold Reese to a single, but the Dodgers tie it up 2-2. Two to two. As Reese stands on at second, he's being held. Going to attempt to steal. He doesn't get the lead, so we'll hold him there. It'll be Snyder up. Snyder strikes out, but we tied it up at 2. So now it'll be Pafco to lead things off for the Cubs in the fourth. As Erskine, new ball game for him with a tie game. And he immediately serves up a single to Pafco. Not going to hold Pafco. Doesn't try for the lead. And this is Robinson out at second. Good range, low airs. Hopefully we can get a double play here. Robinson gets to it. Does he field it cleanly now is the question. Never any doubt. 14-9. And Robinson begins the 4-6-3 twin killing. And Fondy's retired. Two outs for Rube Walker. And Walker comes out with a two-out base hit. Going to try to stretch it. Nope. He will stay back at first. And it's Jack Kusick. As Cusick will step in, he's 0 for 1, hitting 138. He reached back in the second thanks to a one-base error by Erskine, and this time Erskine sits him down. So Robinson leads things off for the Dodgers here in the bottom of the fourth. Hopefully we can build a lead here. Well, Robinson routine grounder to Cusick, one away. Hodges draws a one-out walk. With Ferrillo up. Pitch on the way to Ferrillo is a fly ball. So we had a split chance. Didn't work out. As you guys learn the results of the at bat, so do I. We are all holding on together. I've got no cards in front of me. I've got the card images uh, turned off. Just trying to manage some ball games here. As a strikeout ends the inning. And we move to the top of the fifth, still knotted at two. Let's see how long Erskine can go for us. Giving up leadoff singles to the pitcher. Not going to help your cause as Twilliger now steps in. He's going to square. Pops up to the catcher. So Edwards hopefully initiating the bailout of the leadoff single that Erskine served up. One away. But that brings up the two-hitter, Randy Jackson. Strike out from Erskine. Jackson retired, so he's one out away, but that's still that leadoff single from the pitcher looms large as Bamholtz comes up with power hitter Sauer and Pafko to follow. And Bamholtz hits a triple right there. The leadoff single hurts the Dodgers as Schultz gets waved around, and now they've got to face the power hitters as Sauer already one home run today. He lines out to second, but a two-out triple from Frank Bamholtz. And the, the Cubs lead it now 3-2 to two as Billy Cox, Carl Erskine, and Carl, or Cal Abrams will are due up here for the Dodgers. And this is Jack Cusick. Again, it's short. Going to get to it. The question is, will he make the play? So he does get to it, and the throw in time on the money, and Cox is retired. So it'll be Erskine. Erskine grounds to Jackson at third. Abrams now for the third time. He walked in the first, and he's hit a double. 
And he walks here in the fifth. And let's see if we can't get the jump. He does not. So it'll be up to Reese to continue the inning. Actually, let's hit and run here. And grounds out to Fondy at first. Would have moved the runner up, but there are two outs. So the inning's over. So Reese retired, three outs, go to the sixth. Cubs lead at three to two. Erskine strikes out the leadoff hitter, Pathco. Now it's Fondy. Single for Fondy. He's over at first base, 95% steal possibility. He is a 3 8 to hold. Uh, we better hold him. He tries to take off and he gets gunned out. It's a good thing to hold as Edwards, that plus four, pulls out the caught stealing. And Erskine's that one out single saved as now there's two outs, base is empty for Rube Walker. Walker now with a single. That's the eighth hit for the Cubs today. And it'll be Cusick. And Cusick hits the second two-out triple with a guy on. And the Cubs extend the lead now to 4-2. to two. As Schultz digs in. Schultz strikes out. But in the fifth and sixth, they've seen the Cubs with two-out triples. Two out RBI triples, and now the Dodgers have some work to do. As Snyder steps in, down two runs in the bottom of the sixth. And this is Randy Jackson over at third base. Jackson gets to it. Does he make a clean throw? And we've got a rare play. Jackson gets the ball off of Schultz's foot, makes the play, so it goes down 1-5-3. Snyder retired with one out. Robinson steps up. He draws a walk. He can't get the lead, so he'll stick around at first for Gil Hodges. Hodges, 40 home runs in 1951. He's got seven so far in our replay. Pitch on the way. One here would be great. This is Schultz, though. Lots of room for air. As Schultz has an X chart opportunity. He doesn't get to it, so it's a single. Well, let's see what happens. He gets through. Is there an error on the play as well? There is. So a single and a one base error. So that's going to put Robinson a third. Hodges is going to move up to second. And the Dodgers are threatening as they got the tying run at second. Still lots of work to do as Ferrillo digs in. He's 0 for 2. Ferrillo grounds to third. Robinson's going to try to advance. Ferrillo thrown out. Hodges moves up. Dodgers get one run closer. And now it'll be up to Bruce Edwards. And let's take a look to see if we want to pinch hit. Edwards, the catcher. Obviously, we've got Campanella. Oh, of course, we're going to pinch it with Campanella. I just say, obviously, we've got Campanella to play, but uh, he's uh, pretty good against lefties as well. So we'll bring Campanella in for an opportunity to tie the ball game up in a clutch situation. Pitch on the way, and Campanella, a two run homer, and the Dodgers take the lead. Huge decision there. Well, it should have been it was an easy decision um, after we realized who we had on the bench. But uh, pays off as Campanella comes up. It's his third home run of the season. Puts the Dodgers ahead. And that chases Bob Schultz from the game as Turk Lown comes in to hopefully finish off the sixth for the Cubs. But Billy Cox... Does he have other plans? No. Smacks one hard at Jackson. That's the third out, but the Dodgers have the lead. Campanella going to stay in the game. He'll go to catch. And probably going to... With 
Erskine coming up. Yeah, we'll stay with this for now, and then we'll see if Hank Erskine can't get us through seven. I really don't like Abrams out there with the lead. Those 21 errors will probably come back to bite me, but hey, live and learn. As what do you know, the first batter of the inning. Ball hit out to left field. That's Abrams. He's got to make a play. And he's going to get to it. Now does he play it clean is the question. A lot of errors out there. He does not. And, of course, ball goes off his glove to Willinger. A two-base error. He stands on at second. Now it'll be Jackson. Fly ball to right. That's for Rillo. Twiller going to try to tag, but he's going to have to hold. And now it's Bumholtz with Twilliger on its second triple. That's Bumholtz's second triple. He's got another RBI. Now that is the third straight inning, or this is the third straight inning that the Cubs have hit a triple. As Bumholtz motors around, he's got a stand-up three-bagger. And he is the go-ahead run as Hank Sauer now stands in. And let's take a look. We'll walk Sauer. And hopefully induce a ground ball double play with Pathco. Pitch on the way. Ground ball to third. We've got the double play. Cox starts it, throws to Robinson, and Hodges is there at first. But the damage done again as the Cubs come through with their third triple in as many innings. And each of those have resolved in an RBI. And we are tied at five as we head to the seventh. That'll be all we ask for from Erskine today. As Lowndes stays in the ball game, we will go with Hermansky to lead off. As Gene Hermansky comes up, he's hitting 297 in our replay, and he picks up a leadoff single. So Abrams is up. The two base error, disastrous. Can Hermansky get the jump? He does not. So he'll stay at first. Abrams cannot bunt. And in the current situation, that's what we're looking for. So we'll bring in Preacher. And all he's going to do is try to put down a bunt. Corners are in. Can he get the job done is the question. Rowe squares. He bunts it. Sack bunt to the pitcher. Good job for Preacher Rowe. And Pee Wee Reese now an opportunity to drive in. What would be the go-ahead run? That's a pitch to Reese on the way. Grounder to short. Hermansky's got a hold. Up to Snyder. Snyder grounds to second. Hermansky stranded at second. And the pinch hit. Or the uh, pinch hit sack bunt. By row goes unused. And so we need a left fielder. And it will be Thompson, who's going to left. And as for pitcher, they've got left, left, right coming up. We'll go with Ralph Bronca. Actually, we'll go with Clyde King to start. So King will slot into that pitcher role. Look to get the first two right or the first two lefties out. It'll be D Fondly, D Fondy, and this is Cox over at first. He we know he's going to get there, but is he going to make a clean throw? Is the question. 
So naturally, he gets to the baseball. Very good range over there by Cox. Does he make a good throw, though? Of course he does not. And that'll be the fourth Dodger error of the afternoon. As Cox makes a throwing error to first, Hodges can't bail him out. And that'll bring up Rube Walker. And this is Robinson at second, a chance to bail out his fellow infielder with an opportunity to turn a double play. Can he get to it cleanly? Can we get a play at second? So he gets to it cleanly. If it's a clean play throwing-wise, we'll turn one. And we do. Robinson starts the 4-6-3 twin killing. Bales Cox out. And King will stay on now to face Cusick. And he gets a foul out to the third baseman. So the Cubs go quietly in the eighth. And it'll be Robinson Hodges for Rillo for the Dodgers. Robinson leads things off. Single. And that's going to put the wheels in motion. Can Robinson get the jump? He does not. Still a 1 to 13. Don't want to risk it at this point. Hodges up. Force play at first. Robinson's out. Should have just taken the risk. Hodges can't get it. It'll be Ferrillo's turn. Ferrillo flies to center. Hodges still at first. And now it's Campanella. Two outs. Campy lines out. That ends the inning. Clyde King will stay on. Assuming they will pinch hit though. No, they're going to let Lau pitch? <laughs> of course. Uh, lead off single from Lau in the pitcher spot sets the table for the ninth. Last time this occurred two out triple and the Cubs took the lead. This is Wayne Terwilliger. He's going to square to bunt. Sack bunt to the pitcher. That moves Lau up to second. Randy Jackson now. Grounder to third. Lau stands at Second, Bam Holtz now the man of the hour. As Bam Holtz is two for four with two triples, two RBIs. And we'll leave King in the game, maybe. See if Hatton's available. Hatton is tired. Actually, we'll go with Clem. We are at no. We'll stay with King. Clyde King stays in the game. See if Bamholtz can get retired after he's had a triple in the fifth, triple in the seventh. He has a base hit. They're going to wave loud around. It's a one to ten. 50% opportunity. We are throwing for the lead runner. And Lown is in there. Campanella trying to block the plate. He does an awesome job of that as he says his ability to be a great blocker. But instead, a one comes up on the 20-sided dice and loud scores. It's just one of those games for the Dodgers, just not meant to be. Four errors. Can't get a jump on the base paths. And Bam Holtz can't get him out. As King will stay in the game now, it's Hank Sauer. Sauer grounds to short. Dodgers have work to do in the ninth. As Billy Cox steps in. Loud on the bump. We are taking a look at who we've got available. As Edwards provides better offense than Cox. Makes us towards the bottom. Brown is towards the bottom. And then Rocky Bridges is towards the bottom. So we'll let Cox hit, and then we'll have Edwards hit for King. After that, Billy Cox is up, grounded a short one away. And now it'll be Edwards who comes in to hit for King. And Hank Edwards strikes out. It'll be up to Don Thompson with two outs. Thompson draws a walk, so he stands on at second. No need to try to get a jump here, as it'll be left up to Pee Wee Reese. 
And Reese doubles. Thompson takes third. They still have to get another base hit from Snyder, who's 0 for 3. Pitch on the way to Snyder. Base hit for Snyder. Thompson scores. They're going to wave Reese around. Can they walk it off here in Ebbets Field? Trying to block the plate. And Reese is in there, and the Dodgers win. An exciting ninth inning. As the Dodgers down to their last outs. As Cox and Thompson, or I'm sorry, Cox and Edwards were both retired. Don Thompson comes up as he's into the game for Abrams. He drew a walk. Reese comes up with a two-out double to put runners on at second and third. And then Duke Snyder hitting 233 comes through for the Dodgers with a two-out two-run single and the Dodgers win it after committing four errors in the inning. The Dodgers improved to 12 and 9 on the season. Cubs fall to 8 and 10. Clyde King picks up the win. As he goes two innings, he gives up the one run. And King improves to 1 and 0. Oh. What a day. What an afternoon at Ebbets Field again. The Dodgers Come from behind in the ninth. They scored two thanks to a two-out single. Or I'm sorry, a two-out two-run single from Duke Snyder. And they win it by a score of 7-6. to six. Until next time, so long, everybody.